best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. I'm in a storm and I'm singing! It's Christmas! Come on, guys! Santa! First, I travel through seven layers of the candy cane forest. Past the sea of the twirling, swirling gumdrop. This is coming! Then I walk through the Lincoln Tunnel. Oh my gosh! Did you want to put everyone on a nice list? I know, I'm a hot head of Niggy Muggins. You need a hug. Good morning, my YouTubers. The countdown to Christmas is on. My hair is still wet because Caroline has to go get her nails done today. And I'm always late, guys, okay? Just know that about Michelle. I'm always late. So at least I did get my face on. I don't know why because I got to put my mask on. But... My face is done. Hopefully something's going to happen to my hair later on. Hopefully I'm going to get my nails done. In England, you had to always make an appointment. And I'm not really sure here. Caroline's saying that they take walk-ins. And if you remember, I got my nails done. So I want to change them because tomorrow we're going to Disney. How fun. Anyways, I just want to change for Christmas because they're starting to peel off. And I don't usually do my nails, but sometimes I get excited and like to do them. Long story short is we are heading to the nail place now. He did let me come in. I got my nails done. Here they are. Problem is, is I'm going to show you. Like, I mean, they're cute, guys. Don't get me wrong. They're adorable. And I don't mean to complain. This is what they were supposed to look like. I just don't know that my nails look like that. Every time I go in and I think, oh, I can do this, or it's just reality versus, versus expectations, or expectations versus reality. I just posted that on my Instagram. I'm never disappointed in my nails, though. Like, you were ever. disappointed last time. That was because we've, like, the one back at home isn't as good as it used to be. This plates I've never been disappointed in. These are adorable. Oh. Yours are adorable. He gave us free gifts. Yeah, it's, I've already opened it because I try to be gentle with my nails, but it's, a Christmas it's just green gift. tea, body lotion, hand and body lotion. That's so nice. They're giving out free Christmas gifts. And normally it's weird because my nails were only like 60 bucks when I went in there. And normally they're like 90 bucks. And so I'm like, I normally get my toes polished with gel and then I normally get my acrylic fill-ins and they're normally like 90 bucks so I was like are they gonna do some Christmas special towards like you know $30 less but you know Excited. not complaining it's yeah. cheaper than normally what I get now we are gonna head home and let's see what this crowd is doing dad had mentioned something about going to the mall I don't know I need to do something with this hair because it's dried on its own and it's looking pretty shabby at this point that's cute yeah. You want to go get the candles? Yeah. Okay. Is that all the stuff you have to go in the basket? Mm hmm Yeah, because we might have to use some tissue paper to fill it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that smells good. Oh, it does, does it? Let me oh, see. It smells like cologne. It smells like man's cologne. Yeah. It came loose. What well, didn't melt? It just came loose. Oh, that one's always nice. It smells like mm -hmm. soap. The stress relief. I need love that, that one. A family of five. That smells like soap. <laughs> That's their new scent. You know what's funny? What? Is, um... Ethan was I saw shopping. Ethan was shopping. It smells like his, your beautiful perfume. His grand, his like other grandparents on his uh mom's like he goes up to the cashier and like lady that's sharing out. He's like, What is this scent that you have for old people? And that's the scent that they gave me and I was like, Oh my god. That's like what smells like like an old person and, and that, they gave him my that one? Yeah, and he's like, This is the one that is very popular that old ladies come in and buy. And like, that's literally what the cashier lady said when we went um, one day to the mall to look for Christmas presents. And I was like, that's actually kind of funny because my mom loves that scent. I'm not an old lady! It's like no, a beautiful perfume. It does not smell like beautiful. I, I think it smells like I the retired like sweet pea. Oh, it's orange. I don't like that. Mmm. These candles went for 10 bucks or $8. $8.99. Yeah. Mama bought her some. Does that work better? Yeah, but I kind of wanted to do something with the candle. Put the candle in the middle and break up the hot cocoa mixture. Welcome to part two of this vlog. We are heading out to Dover, Florida. We're going to the Wonderland of Lights. Again, first time we've ever been, so kind of excited to see what it's all about. We're gonna go test out number two to see if it could be a new tradition. Dad's already not happy that it's almost like 45 minutes from us. I don't know how much of a tradition it's gonna be. 
but we're gonna go check it out this time. This is not a tradition. A tradition is something we hold every year, even if we move, and we will move again. Something baking. But good. it can be Florida tradition. Okay. No, because we can live. No. <laughs> no. Baking, baking at the house, gingerbread houses, what we did, that's a tradition. This is not a tradition. Okay, here's the thing, guys. When you become a military family, things come moving traditions. So, yes, yeah, so there can be baking and memory traditions. Good idea, fairies. You should have <laughs> set upon your shoulder, and sometimes you gotta kick those little fairies off your shoulder. That made absolutely no sense nope, to what we're talking about. Good idea, fairies, man. You gotta beat them up. Your husband, it's a good idea. Just make it a tradition. Use those words. Trying to spill some. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> this is not a good idea. Look at this traffic. <laughs> oh, I'm salty. <laughs> I'm glad you guys know and you can see that he's salty. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, when you're a military Break family, so, that's dangerous. Don't do that. So, sometimes you have to have moving traditions, traditions to the local area. Like back home in North Carolina, it was a tradition for us to go to a little place called McCannville when we went to the lights. That's still a childhood tradition. Yeah, don't do it anymore. You better look up the definition yeah, of Yeah, okay, I get it. Okay, a tradition for the next four years that we're going to live here. Possibly a it's year, not tradition, two years. Man. This is a good idea that just popped up in here. That's why I call them good idea fair. Okay, oh gosh, let's not go back down that route. Okay, maybe this is just a good idea that we're going to go see these lights. Today. Today. Maybe the last time. Maybe the last time. Are you seriously like driving? Halfway through, I guess you get to kind of stop. There's a circus thingy over there. And look at the camels, carriage rides. Yeah, you can see wolves over there. Think we can see a wolf? Yeah, and I want to see like circus thing over there. Okay, let's go. Ooh, look, they're jamming out over there. Is it soft? Yeah. Look at his teeth. And I can't see it. I mean, he said you're picking on my teeth. He looks so angry. Like, are you upset? <laughs> Why are you scared of us in a fist? He wants you to pet him. Why are you so scared of him? He just wants you to pet him. Get up and nip me. Oh, he likes you, Christian. Well, they have some big fur. Hey, buddy. Oh. <laughs> He's like, do you have food? Looks like a bull. What is that thing? It's a, or it's a fuzzy bull. But at least he doesn't like charge. At least he likes to pet it. It's not great. He wants food. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. That is a weird looking animal. See the wolves. But they're in cages, right? Yeah. You can see them in there. They're pacing. But I want to go see them. This your favorite animal? It is my favorite animal. Caged. But it's that is sort of. Sad. That's my favorite animal. There's some more. There's Arctic wolves over there. 
I want to be free, don't you puppies? Oh, because they remind me of doggies. Until you come across a pack of them in the wild. Oh man. They probably release them once they're done, right? Uh, no. Probably not. So what do they do with them? They keep this. In a cage? Yes. Yeah, but because if you would um, let them out, they would run. But they wouldn't stay. Yeah, I know. But then they would just do it for the event. And then, like, mm -hmm. just let them free. Come on in, folks. Come on in and welcome. Welcome to Santa's workshop. Photos with Santa Claus. Photos with Santa Claus right now. It's hiding from Santa. Danger, danger. Stranger, danger. You're scared? We've never rode camels! Wanted to ride them in Spain, but we never got to. Yeah, went to one place in Spain. Yeah, and that's where the camels were, I think. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, she's cute though! Look at you, Caroline. Were you scared? A little bit. It's a little yeah. high up. Like. And they walk pretty fast. I know. They walk slow. I'm like, okay. He was gonna try it soon, I guess. <laughs> Back in the desert, what they used to cross the desert with. I know. Gotta go finish the lights. So we're gonna end the vlog here. We're done eating. We're always in the car. Yeah, I'll tell this guy. He keeps looking at new Supras. I seen what you were looking at at this stop. I'm trying to listen to what it is, man. They got some new information about the 2021. I want to hear the target. Y'all met you mess with me about these vehicles, man. Oh, he keeps, okay, we haven't even, so Josh wants to do a video on his cars. We haven't even got the GTR yet. He's already talking about when the GTR gets here, should he sell it, trade it in for the new Supra? It's just because I'm all a day Toyota man. All day conversation. I love Toyotas and I love the Supras. The GTRs, they're nice. Those 90s cars were made better than these newer cars, but something about the Supras that I love. They're just comfortable. They're so comfortable and they're fun and they're fast. And that was us sponsoring Toyota right now. No, I'm just <laughs> joking. Not for real. But actually guys, like two months ago, he had me, what were we doing? We were getting his truck worked on or something at the Toyota place and I'm up in the storeroom or the shop floor looking at this new Supra with a $150,000 price tag. <laughs> was it 150,000? It was like 140. Okay, 140. I'm like, get out of here, okay? But but now, Bell, it's came down to 90,000. Okay. Yeah, because that new 2021 Supra's coming out. And he's excited. Hi. And Christian's <laughs> saying hi. He's talked to me the whole car ride about the new Supra coming out, okay. Anyways, me personally, our neighbor has a GTR, the newer version. <laughs> I could drive that. That's... Okay, but we'll let him be the Superman. Anyways, we're going to end the vlog here, guys. Thanks for spending the day with us, and I'm sure I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye!